Good morning, y'all. It is bright and early this morning. It's about 5 a.m. I woke up at 4 to stoke the fire, and my mom woke up too, and we were just like, uh, why don't we just go ahead and get up because, I don't know, we don't feel tired, and let's just go ahead and start the day. So it's still dark outside, and uh, we're trying to just get things moving. So this morning, um, we were trying to think of projects that we could start this early, being that it's dark outside, can't really do much out there. But um, I'm going to boil my deer head, the seven pointer that I got. It's been in the freezer this whole time, so um, I really need to go ahead and get the skin and the fur off of it so that I can have my nice little Euro mount. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do it here in the kitchen. My mom said that was fine, so I'm gonna be doing it right there in this big galvanized bucket. We'll see how this goes. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the brains, but um, that's the plan of, as of now. And I do have to go out there in the dark and get water from the well to fill this thing up. So what were you gonna do this morning? I'm going to make a, um, a box for our mail. A mailbox. <laughs> More or less the UPS. Yeah. Not local mail. So she's going to do a little woodworking. Elo is just totally flabbergasted that we're awake this early, but... Maybe I should go to yeah. the shed and get some wood. <laughs> now you're really feeling frisky. Elo, stay with me. Stay with me, Mama. Getting a little daylight out. This is like you coming over here, huh? Oh, I thought that was a coyote way over there. Stay over here, Bubba. Stay with me. Elo? So guys, we ro rode up here to the top of the hill to my workshop to see what it looks like with the lights on while it's dark. This baby is lit up like a Christmas tree. Check this out. It's starting to get light outside, but it is so bright. Yeah. And another spotlight over there. Cute little porch light. Don't have my porch yet, but that's coming soon. Sweet. Can Frankie come out? Mm-hmm. Good morning, Franklin. Good morning. Igloo. Igloo. <laughs> Silly babies. Sunrise and a cup of coffee. Oh, it's cold though. It's like 20 degrees. Single burner with an extension cord out here. Oh yeah, and hook it to the um, propane tank. Because I don't think my little propane t tank would last very long. I think single burner. Oh, oh, oh. Filling up some water buckets from the well for this deer skull escapade. I'm not really looking forward to it because, because the brains, the eyeballs, the tongue, all of that is still inside of the deer skull. And on top of that, it's frozen, so I gotta thaw it out first. Uh, I'm really not looking forward to it, but I'm just gonna try to like boil it all day and just see what happens. If it doesn't turn out, then I might just cut off the antlers. What you smell, Bubba? What you smell? How 
How many we got so far? Eight. Thank you. Frankie, no, we're not doing this right now. It's... Go on. <laughs> you don't want to get eaten by the coyotes, Frankie. Every night those coyotes come out right behind the barn there. So I put another camera right here. We'll see how close they're actually getting to the house. I swear I think I heard one underneath the house the other, like a week ago. And that's where Frankie hides out during the day. So I think they smelled him. So you better get your butt over here. Oh, he thinks the world is his litter box. All right, bud. What you think, bud? <laughs> He's been living rent free in the freezer. So now I'm gonna start boiling um, some water on the big boy here in the kitchen. Deer head is thawing out behind the wood stove. I'll show you guys. So, this is just like paper stuff that we use to start the fire. That's what that is. But there's my buck behind the wood stove. And like I said, he does still have the fur and all that still on him in the skin. So, I really feel like I'm gonna need to skin him before I do this, or it's just gonna be a mess. Very nice subscriber of mine, Timothy, sent me some knives. His company name is Bigger Bullets LLC. They're so nice. Thank you so much, Timothy. And thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, so here's one right here. It's super nice. It's got a little emblem on it there. It says Hunting Heritage, Hunting Heritage Collection. Um, North American Hunting Club, and that baby is sharp. And it came in this really cool leather case. This one, I think this one's my favorite. I showed these to my dad and he was trying to get one. I was like, well, you can, you can have one because I have so many now. <laughs> 
Um, but this one is really cool. Got the serrated saw edge on there and it's really sharp. Again, if you guys want to check him out, it's Bigger Bullets LLC. I think he's out of is it Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma. Um, now I need to go outside. See, I, I got smart. There's this little, this little wood stove, this big boy. It has a really small little opening there where you can just kind of feed stuff in and keep it stoked. So um, you need a pretty small piece of wood to do that. So I've been using my handy dandy ax that my parents got me for Christmas and uh, works like a charm. I'm getting a lot better at it. And I'm splitting the bigger logs into little pieces like this and they fit perfectly like right through there so you can just feed it without having to move the stuff off the top. So I don't have enough to get this thing and keep it boiling for like hours. So I'm gonna have to go outside and split some wood. That is next on the agenda. Elo though is crazy when I try to do anything, even like power tools, but even like shoveling, cutting wood, anything, he goes nuts. I don't, I don't understand it. It's really weird, but a lot of you guys said that your dogs do the same thing. So I don't know. Yep. Out here trying to split some wood and what do you know? Go on. You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think It's a workout. Houston, we got a problem. This pot that I bought at Lowe's is leaking. I'm going to try to caulk it. Um, man, I mean, I just bought this pot and it's leaking. So I just, I don't understand why they don't make things with quality anymore. If I can't use that pot, then my plan for this is pretty much soiled. So hopefully I can seal it up with some roofing caulk. It's just always something. Like I'll start a project and then bam. The persevere, that's the key word in life, persevere. The water is like slowly seeping out and it's dripping down into my fire. Seems like the more I'm caulking, the more water is coming out. This is what just like irks me when something is not made right. 
I mean, really, like, look at this. The, uh, like, if you're not going to make it right, do not sell it. Look how much caulk I used. And it's still just dripping out. I don't think this is going to work. Ugh. So, I'm going to start on a new project. I feel like, you know what? I woke up early, very early this morning. I'm going to have a good day. I've had a great morning so far. I'm not going to let this little bucket ruin my day. At the very least, the only positive thing, my deer head is out of the freezer and it's thawing out. I will have to save this for another video uh, when I get a better pot. This is the first time we've had any tenderloin off of my buck, so... Mm, my mom might help with this because she has a bomb recipe for deer tenderloin. So I'm going to go ahead and let that be thawing out today. Look who's here. <laughs> he knows the word deer meat. Mm. Getting dinner prepared somewhat. Always like to do that throughout the day so it's not so much work at night. But next, um, I think I'm going to take a little bit of ash and go clean the glass on the wood stove in the Foxfire room. My grandma told me, she actually told me that there used to be glass panels on it. And I think one of you guys commented also and said that it looks like there's glass panels on that wood stove, but they're so black and dirty and charred that you really can't even tell that they are glass. So um, I'm gonna use some ash and some water, which I also read <laughs> from one of you guys. We'll see if it works. All right, so here's the Fox fire stove. Haven't been starting fires in here in a while. Also, the Christmas tree is gone and this beautiful TV sits there now. <laughs> I've got you guys sitting in the wood stove. Hello? You don't need any of that. So I got this little wire scrubby thing. And I'm just going to try to see what happens. So here's my ash and water mixture. Let's see if this works. This would be really cool if it does. You can see my breath. It's so cold in here. Yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> Wax on, wax off. It's not working. <laughs> this must be really dirty. Decades. I just, I don't know, Elo. All I know is it's so cold in here, my hands are like going numb. So guys, I'm back in the kitchen here at the big boy. <laughs> um, I got hungry and yeah, I'm gonna just uh, fix a little breakfast and then I'll get back to work. But this is why I feel like things take so long because there's always something that happens in my projects and then I either get hungry or cold and um, I have to come get warm and fix food or whatever. So taking a little brief intermission I guess this video is gonna just be like a spend the day with me. My favorite thing to eat in the morning is just a piece of toast. My hands are dirty. Don't tell my mom. I'm making her one too. With peanut butter, bananas, hemp seeds, and chia seeds. It's so good. Oh, and maybe a little drizzle of honey on top. And I got me some coffee here. Reheating this from this morning. There's a couple sips left. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'm gonna get back to work. Cheers. I don't have any banana, darn it. Keep forgetting to get those. 
and go to the store but this peanut butter is so bomb it's uh made by the amish there's this little amish store nearby and there's like chunks of little peanut butter i mean peanuts in it it's like the best peanut butter i've ever had so i just spread some peanut butter on the toast And then I put, of course it's so much better with the banana, but it's still gonna be good. Put some chia seeds on top. Some hemp hearts. I don't know, it's just, it adds to the nutty flavor of the peanut butter and it gives a little crunch too. I was telling my mom last night, I was like, why is everything so difficult? Especially like to open. I swear you could buy some scissors and you need scissors to open the box of scissors. It makes no sense to me. All right, got the honey open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yum deliumptious. No. <laughs> Would you like some breakfast? Oh, yes. Thank you. That looks good. <laughs> Thank you. It's peanut butter toast with the seeds and honey. Back at the beach. I oh, know. I wish we had banana, but mm. is it good? Mm -hmm. That peanut butter makes it. I know it's the best peanut butter. So, what are you up to up here? Just finished the trim work around this door. Refresh the trim work on the window sills, both of them. It looks got really a good. Coat on them. That looks great. Almost finished with this. Good. Well, my morning's going grand. What's you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Got the deer head in the boiling water yet? Uh, it's a long story. All right, guys, I'm back. I mixed up some hot water with some ash, some baking soda, some white vinegar, and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my scrubbing action again. Elo, stop. Don't slam me with your squeaker. This has got to work. It's going to work. I need to succeed at at least one thing this morning. This is just wild. Excuse me. Mommy's trying to do something. Don't make fun of me, Elo. <laughs> Are you sleeping? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Hello? You're testing your mommy's patience.
There are no glass slippers in my future. <laughs> so my grandma gave us this wood stove and um, grandma, I'm just gonna ask you, why did you let it get so dirty? I'm just gonna let this sit and I'm gonna go do something else. What happened to the rest of your morning? Well, um, my mom um, had me help her try to lay out this bathroom that we're getting over here and kind of design where things are gonna go, the shower, the toilet, the sink, and a little closet those sort of things. She just left to go to town a little bit ago, so I went upstairs and edited my YouTube video for tonight. So now I gotta go all the way up to the top of the ridge where I get service and use my phone um, as a hotspot to get service enough to post it and upload it on YouTube. It usually takes about two hours. So I'm gonna go do that, get that process started. And while I'm up there, I might um, pop into the workshop and I need to do some work up there. I need to. So that's the plan. Me and Ela are going to head up there and do that. So I'll see you guys there. Cactus flower Let the day slip away In the golden hour We've got nothing But time and music And a sweet cold drink In the heat Oh I'll be Beside you snap them and the loud snapping noise he was very afraid of so ever since that moment he's been kind of like afraid of this workshop because of that he's very sensitive boy and it's okay honey but I know that once I get this place looking more cozy and like home I know that he's gonna love it so no need to fear honey bunches I'm gonna have so many cool things in here just for you so we're gonna keep working my video is uploading right now 
inside me Every step of the way 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 Hi guys, I am still up here in the workshop I've put up so many panels, I really only have that patch left and like two panels up in the loft area. And I caulked the windows because I could feel the draft coming in, but um, I am still waiting on my YouTube video to upload. It's saying it still has an hour and 23 minutes left and it's already 5.30 and it's getting dark now, so I'm gonna head back down to the farmhouse and um, start on the venison tenderloin. I'm hoping my mom will hop on and share the recipe a little bit with you guys. In other news though, uh, today when I was working up here, I showed you guys Elo was inside the workshop with me and he, I told you guys how he like had a bad experience with the, the laminate flooring before so he's been really like skittish in here and stuff and I hate that so I brought him his little special blankie up here and a bone and everything and I thought like okay he's gonna just be chill it's nice and toasty in here he'll probably like nap and chew on his bone no he did that for a little bit and then he got super skittish because I was about to get out the jigsaw and cut some of these panels and as soon as I did, I mean, usually when we're outside and I start the jigsaw or anything, he's like barking and you guys have seen him, the sander, all that. So this time though, he got really scared and he went behind those boards over there and was like hiding. And I could tell he was really stressed out because his paws were like sweating on the floor. So I felt terrible and I let him out, but I kept the door open so that I could like watch him. So, um... Uh, a few minutes went by and I just like hollered to see if he was still there and he wasn't there so I walked over to the top of the ridge so I could look down at the farmhouse and I saw my mom's car was back so I was like oh, okay he's down at the farmhouse with my mom and with grandma and um I thought everything was fine about 30 45 minutes goes by and my mom comes up to the top of the hill and she's like um do you have any idea what just happened and I was like no what and she was like uh the neighbor just brought Elo home so I was like uh what no I have no idea like I thought he was with you he ran all the way down our long long road and thank goodness went to the neighbor's house I don't know I felt so bad I didn't even like give him a spanking when he got back because he was already stressed out and I just don't want him to feel uncomfortable about this workshop. Like, I want this to be, like, his little safe haven, his little fort. So, yeah, that happened, but, um, it's been one of those days, guys. I feel like I need to start doing more vlogs like this because you guys actually get to see what goes on in a day, not just, like, one project or one moment. <laughs> I'm tired. Bo is safe and he's back in here but we're about to head back down to the farmhouse right now and get started on dinner because this has an hour left and yeah I will see you guys down there and I am so ready for some venison tenderloin Ooh. Hey guys, I just got done making some fried green tomatoes that I thought out earlier they turned out nice and crispy mmm I haven't had these in so long I'm a venison tenderloin off of my seven pointer she has a very special way that she cooks it. All right, y'all. And you put the seasoned side down. Lemon pepper, garlic salt, and black pepper, and a little olive oil. Sounding good. Okay. Seasoned side down? Mm-hmm, first. Mm-hmm, because you want all that crispiness to stick to the pan. Then when you douse that little bit of wine on the bottom pan and it goes zoom, it almost blows up like a flame. Loosens it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just got back from the ridge top. Video just went up really late, 7.40 p.m. And my mom finished up dinner, her delicious venison. <laughs> 
recipe. We are so tired. Look at that beauty. Look at that sauce. My mouth was, is watering. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Chateaubriand. <laughs> Voila. Yum. Oh. Chateaubriand. That's going to put us right to sleep. Guaranteed. We've been up since 5 a.m. working.